G'day. Well, I couldn't help myself. After explaining the last trick, which was based on these remarkable properties of the number 9, I felt I had to share this one with you. I want you to choose a three-digit number which is not a palindrome. Now, a palindrome is something that reads exactly the same both ways. So we're talking about a number that where the first and last digits are different. For example, uh, 251. 252 would not be acceptable because we want these digits to be different. Now, you can, I doubt that you will want to do this in your head, so make sure you're doing it on paper or on your uh, electronic device if you're capable. And I want you to reverse the digits, please. I'm going to reverse mine, 152. And I'm writing the smaller one underneath the big one. Why do I do that? Because we're going to subtract. I want you, want you to subtract the smaller number from the bigger one. And I'll let you continue. I won't do this just now. And I'll give you just a second to do it. You can pause me if you wish. And when you've got your total, I want you then to reverse that, including any zeros. Reverse that and then add, <coughs> pardon me, So you end up with a total. So it's very simple, a three digit number, reverse and subtract, reverse and add. And when you're finished, which I trust you will be, here is the answer. Well, not exactly. I think that's what you got. It's a remarkable property of nine. 1089 is our magic number. And if I do it with this, Sorry, I'm just kicking things. I use my old method of subtraction. 2 from 11 is 9. 6 from 15 is 9. 2 from 2 is 0. I'm going to reverse them. 9, 9, 0. I did say reverse, including any zeros. And add them up. 9, 9 and 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 1 and 9 is 10. There it is. 1089. Remarkable property. Why does this happen? Well, if you watched the last video, I'm not going to go through the explanation again. Uh, so I'm talking about the video in which we, I, I predict with coins in my pocket what your answer will be. When we reverse numbers and subtract them, we always end up with a number divisible by 9. That's a property of numbers. It's, there's a whole branch of mathematics called number theory, which deals with divisibility and remainders and how numbers are composed and fit together and what makes them prime and composite and so on. It's a fascinating field, for, I guess not for everyone, but it is for those who wonder about the fabric of the universe and just the patterns of numbers and counting. But nonetheless, this pattern will always give a number divisible by nine. And... If you use a three-digit number and you reverse it, not only is it divisible by 9, it will be divisible by 11 as well. In other words, divisible by 99. So at this point, your number will have been 099 or 198 or 297 or 396 or 495, 594, uh, 693, 792, or 891, or conceivably 990. I haven't really thought that through. But there you go. Those numbers are all divisible by 99. And I think you can see a common thread. They all have 9 in the middle. So when I reverse them and write them again, I'm going to add 9 and 9. And the two numbers on either side add up to 9. Now, I'm not going to go into why or how we test for numbers that are divisible by 11. That will have to remain for another video. I can't explain everything in every video. Um, suffice to say that 
for these kinds of numbers, if the two outside numbers add up to the middle one, so you notice 3 and 6 is 9, 4 and 5 is 9, 5 and 4 is 9, 6 and 3 is 9, 7 and 2 is 9, the number is divisible by 11. So here we go, we reverse it, and of course the two numbers here will add up to 9, because it's going to be, if I chose 4, 9, 5, and then I added 5, 9, 4, I'm simply adding these two numbers that add up to 9. I'm going to have a 9 and a 9 in the middle, which will give me 18. And 5 and 4 will give me another 9 at this end. And there we go, 108, 9. Uh, basically, it's 121 times 9, or 9 lots of uh, 99. And this number pops up in a number of unusual places in mathematics. But this is uh, a game that we play. We introduce to children when they're learning to subtract and add because it's a fun game and it amazes, still amazes me in a way, even though I understand the mechanics of it and the thinking behind it. But it's still intriguing to think. You can start with any number, subtract and add and end up with a very predictable result. And as I showed you, if you want to really enhance people's sense of mystery, you show it to them this way first. You say, there's your answer. You can have a piece of paper inside an envelope or whatever. Uh, I have done this with little kids' parties. Well, not little kids, but older kids' parties. And then you say, oh, there it is. 1089, remarkable number. And uh, it has that other unusual property that it still reads like a legitimate number when rotated 180 degrees. So there we go. Wonderful property. I hope you've enjoyed that. Try it out on your friends, try it at home, and I hope you will learn to add and subtract very, very rapidly. They're good skills to have. Thank you very much for watching.